Hello YouTube. Here's my 2008 GS350. Show you how to fix that brake squeal. See, that's what I'm talking about right there. You hear that? <coughs> now go down there. Somewhere. Yeah, I hear that noise. Oh man, it's terrible. Turn right here. Let's see. Now park right in that wide in between, like right here. Turn right here and park. what we be dealing with right there that squeaking put it in part please all you gotta do is come here and if you look in here you would see a backing plate right behind your rotors all you gotta do is squeeze it if you look at my hand I got my thumb on the rotor and my four fingers on the backing plate and I'm squeezing it to the rotor and just go around each side and even the bottom like that and squeeze it to where you hear it touch the rotor like that squeeze it tight and firm Because you want this backing plate close to your rotor. And I've learned in the past that it ain't the brakes, pads, or the shims, or the wear indicators. I have new brakes. Um, they're probably about two years old right now. But you do the passenger side, the front wheel. Then you come around. And you do the driver's side. Just reach in there, squeeze it. One thumb on the rotor, and the other four fingers pulling the backing plate <clears throat> towards the rotor. You're squeezing it together. Just squeeze it. You can hear it click, but but that's all you do. Squeeze. You squeeze it. You want this back and plate close to your rotor. And it made my squilling go away. And now we're gonna drive it and see what happens. Drive it back to the house. Yes. Now hit the brakes right now. Didn't hear nothing. All right, keep going. And drive it like you drive your car. You're gonna go like you, like you're driving a little slower. So did it make a little squeak there? right there listen nothing step on it a little bit
something. But YouTuber friends and and people that have this problem, that's the fix. I accidentally discovered it one day while I was at the car wash and I was looking, I was like, you know what, I can't be that dumb. I got new brakes on this 08 GS350 about at the end of 2020. And for a year, it was all good. I didn't have no squeaking problems. And before I got new brakes, I had rotors on it slotted and drilled rotors and they didn't squeak so I put regular rotors brand new rotors brand new brakes and all that no not brand new rotors brand yeah brand new rotors not brand new calipers and uh, it was good for a year then it started doing it getting louder and louder and I was about to go get new brakes and shit but I said nah I can't be the brakes they're not making any um, burrs whatever you call that little where the sensor is hitting the rotors so that's all i've done it's the backing plate on the um behind the rotors just reach down there and squeeze it and this will save you a fucking lot of money because i've seen people on youtube i had brake change three times and listen we come into a stop a turn see if we hear anything nope quiet as a mouse but what I have noticed, sometimes when you come to a park, it might have a little squeak, but as far as driving it, nothing. So, this should be a fix for anybody that has a Lexus GS350, IS350, 250, they have this problem. It's the backing plate. Somehow the backing plate has got like, I don't know, maybe a half inch further away from the rotors, the back of the rotors. Just squeeze it with your hands. You'll see in the video. And it should stop it. Simple as that. It fixed mine, as you can hear. I don't hear no squeaking, no nothing. Hit the brakes hard, sweetie. Nothing. So, that's got to be the fix. What else could it be if you got new rotors? You got new brake packs? You got new shims? Only thing I don't have new is the calipers. And I thought one time it was the calipers touching the rotors, but it's not. It's the backing plate is too far away from the rotor. So you can squeeze it with your hand or you can get new ones. It don't matter, whatever you want to do. But squeeze it with your hand. If you're a woman, you might not can't do it, but a man can even squeeze it with his hand and to fix the problem. Simple as that. I mean, we're in the car right now and we're about to come to a, we're about to park and I'm gonna see if it'll do it when we park. Cause I noticed sometimes it'll do it when you park, but sometimes it won't. But you will have you will not have any more loud ass squilling thank god for that but hey you like this video y'all can send me a little tip because i just gave you a tip the cash app also if y'all want to donate through cash app hey it's stacy 2b and you spell that s-t-a-c-e-e -E. 2B. That's the number 2 and a letter B. So it's S T A C E E, the number 2 and a letter B. Because, be honest with you, if y'all went to dealership, y'all gonna pay a fortune. So hey, send me a couple of dollars, man, because shit, you will have peace of mind when you do this and it ain't squeaking. Mine ain't squeaking at all. I meant so hey it's up to you you don't have to but i thought i'd share it with y'all because for about a year or a year and a half i had to listen to that squealing squealing i hated to pull up even at a drive through just to buy some food because that shit was squeal so loud but this seems to fix the problem i done done mine i 
done it Wednesday and today is uh, Sunday and I ain't had no problem since. So, hey, might work for you, might not. It should, it worked for me. I don't see why it wouldn't work for you, but give it a shot, give it a try, you never know. All right.